but you can burn the absolute crap out of your pizza cooking in one of these high temp ovens like this Coda 16 right here. This is a flame guard. It's supposed to keep that from happening. A lot of folks over in the Uni Facebook group use these and they swear by them. So I figured I'd pick one up and uh, try it out just to see how it works. And a huge shout out to the folks over at Craftsman House for supplying me with this flame guard. Got an extra one and I'm gonna give it away to a lucky viewer. So uh, keep watching, a little bit more about that later in the video. Now the longer part of this guard is supposed to be in the back. It just slides in and bumps up against the sides of the oven just like that. Now we'll just kick it on full blast and let the oven heat up. I've got some overnight pizza dough here. There's a recipe on my channel. I will leave a link to that in the upper right hand side. This is probably the most popular recipe on my channel. So make sure you check it out. Here we go. A little bit more bench flour on top just so it's not so sticky. This is a uh, blend of 50-50, semolina, and double zero. Works perfect for bench flour. I love it. Now I'm just gonna take this, uh, this dough rather and press from the center out to form my, my outer crust. You flip it over, do the same thing. Center out. Now I use my knuckles and I stretch the dough. Also letting gravity pull it down a little bit. Letting gravity do some of the work here. Let's see how that looks. It's looking pretty good. You really can't go any more than about 14 inches in diameter with the flame guard in there. So just keep that in mind if you plan on using one. I'm gonna go on with some sauce. This is some cooked tomato sauce, some pizza sauce that I had left over. Normally I put uh, raw sauce on my Neapolitan style pizzas, but not today. There, perfect. A little fresh mozz. Three or four ounces should do the trick. I break this mozz down a little smaller than most people do. I like when it's a little bit more melted, spread out around the pizza, you know? Looking good. Okay, finish it up with a little bit of Parmigiano Reggiano. Yeah, moderate amount here. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. All right, this looks pretty good. We're gonna keep these pizzas super simple today. Let's go temp out the oven and see if it's ready to go. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, eight, yeah, eight-ish, 825, 830, yeah, we're perfect here. This is kind of right where we wanna be. God, it's hot out here. Let's fry this pizza. All right, in she goes. And I'm gonna turn this down like I always do because I don't trust it. <laughs> I don't want my pizza to get all messed up. Let's see, huh? I don't know, guys. I'm still getting some, some color over here. Maybe a little too much color. I've got the heat on medium low right now, so it's still getting a little too much color around the edges here. Uh, let's take another look at this. Uh, okay, take a look at that. Got a little color under there. Now, I'm not totally convinced that that flame guard really did anything, but uh, let's take it out and cook another pizza using the same method, the same temperature settings, all of that, and we'll compare the two. How about that? Same temp, no grill guard. All right, I'm gonna turn the heat down like I did before. Let's go right there and see what happens. All right, we're gonna go in. Second spin. All right. Here we go. Let's look underneath. Now, do you see any major difference between these two pizzas? I don't, that kind of tells me that the flame guard really didn't do too much, okay? Are you an avid user of a flame guard? If so, tell me what I'm doing wrong. Hit me in the comments below. Maybe it's better for a New York style pizza, you know, something that's cooked at a lower temp. Uh, but let me know down below, okay? Uh, the flame guard obviously is great quality. Craftsman House uh, did a great job producing it. Um, so there's that and I wanna thank him for sending me one to try out. I have another one, so if you want it, hit me in the comments below, mention Craftsman House, and tell me about your biggest pizza fail, all right? I'll let you know who won in the next video. That's it for now, I'll catch you guys next time, thanks.